Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to Suina M Design Knitting, Crochet, Embroidery, Weaving, uh, Arts and Crafts and, uh, and other DIY. Just give me a second. Okay, let me show you what i done. I'm making a weaving board a garment. So I make sure what I do is, uh, you can see that? So I measure from here to here is 30 inches. So what you have to do is you may have measure your measurement of uh, your body, the round figure of your body. Get the tape measure, go around it. Uh, then divide by half. And then add two and a half inches each side. So that's what I did. So, um, I figure out mine is 15, uh, uh, 13 inches. I put two extra inches. So, and then uh, whatever neck you want to do, mine is a V-neck. You see? So, I make sure that too. Now, I just nail it. So, just nail at the bottom. Nail on top. On top. Then, nail the v stitch here so this is a left panel this is right panel then single crochet uh with invisible stitch uh to join them together when you finish so we're gonna weave them so uh, this is a trial and error but pardon me because my first time doing it so I just nail it about one centimeter apart. I just came back from the hardware store and this is the nail that I'm using. I don't know what it called, flat head. Oh, fl I'm very bad this one. Flat head, this 40 times 2.0 20, 2, 2 millimeter. Okay. So, that's what I'm using. You don't have to follow me if you don't want to use uh, if whatever nail that you have in uh, in your garage. But mine I don't have. So I buy it from the hardware store and um I'm using MDF is um 3 mm MDF uh 90 six, 90 by 60. So 900 by six, uh, 600 mm. And a three millimeter uh, width and uh, the thickness. So yeah. So I'm just gonna try and see. I thought I'd bring you all along. First, I just want to try with uh, the left, the left panel first. If it look nice, successful, then I make on the right, and then after that I do it again one more time on the left and on the right. Two of them join them up together, so become front panel, back panel. So each side of the left, you have to make two times. Front panel and back panel, and uh, on the right also same thing. Two times have to make them. So I want to see. You all know by now in my channel, each time I got, I got idea, I have to proceed and uh, try and see. This is a trial and error. So, yeah. I think I'm going to be successful, though. 
I got a gut feeling. I do crochet, I do knitting. The construction of the cloth, uh, the the cloth for the tops and stuff. So, so this is weaving. So. Or oh, I line it up. Make sure that you line it up so easy for you to um to put the nail. So thirty divided by half is fifteen. That is uh, the measurement after you put two and a half two and uh two inches extra for ease. Positive ease. You know, in the clothes, clothing, they always call positive E. So that means the space for your body to and the cloth to uh, to stretch and to uh, contract, uh, construct, uh, con con contract. So that means it's smaller and bigger. So I give two inches each side. I'm not sure whether that's the right way to do. But that's how I'm doing it. So I'm just learning still. I want to see it work. If the thing is too small, a little bit, then I increase by three inches each side. But I press it because I still got space on the board. So yeah. Excuse about the noise. Unfortunately, nothing you can be, nothing can be done with the noise. Just plain MDF board, three millimeter thickness. It's only cost uh four fifty for the MDF board. It costs four fifty and the nail is about seven dollars. And I make a mistake, I should grab two more of the MDF so I don't have to go to hardware store again. But anyway, I go again. I'm trying to attempt to make a dress. But first I make a top first. It's successful then I make a dress. So yeah, just kneel away. And this one is good. It can make a garment, can can weave anything. This one. That's really good. I can uh, make it in a more weaving board. So yeah. I buy the this one is a too long nail, so I don't know how to to this thing with the nail. But this has got extra about one centimeter down. 
But anyway, nobody gonna touch at the bottom anyway. So it's just me. No children, young children too, you know. So if you got young children, then you have to go out. You have to make sure that um you uh, use nail appropriately uh, appropriately another word is um shorter nail so there's no um sharp edges underneath just in case they come underneath and so yeah because i don't have uh, a children I, my children are grown up, they have lived their own life, so I don't have to be worried, but still, you know, you might get uh, caught when you do it, but you have to be careful with it though, that's all, should be alright, I'm just so excited, I just want to try to see the, whether I can uh, loom it and weave it. I got the weaving uh, project over there, can you see? I done the video yesterday. So yeah, it is getting along. Learning um wage at wage wage weaving. So yeah. As you all know, I love weaving. I love crochet. I love knitting. I love cooking. So, I haven't done cooking video for a long, long time. Maybe you should cook some election food. Show you. Okay, this side is finished. This is approximately 15 inches. Okay. So you don't have to go through, um, see that? you don't have to go through here, you just go pick up the neck and then uh, when you pick up the neck, the nail here, nail here, 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 here and then pick up here. That's it. That's all you do and then you weave it up and down, you warp it up and down, up and down like that to the neck shape and uh, that's how you do a board. Okay guys? Okay, I'm gonna go on the other side um, to do this area. I think 4 inches, 4 inches and 4 inches is 8 inches. I measured it up already. I'm not really, I mean, I'm not measure my neck. But I said 4 inches. So 8 inches. So I have to be 5 inches then. 5, 5 is 10. But that's 4, it's okay. That's wide enough. Sixteen. Sixteen, sixteen is eight, sorry. But that's four. Okay, I make it five. I make it five. I better mark it down. Five inches. Okay, I'm going this way. So I'll show you all what I mean. So yeah.
I love hardware store. Oh, it's not only for men. I eh? hardware store. Love them. We call it bunnings. Love bunnings. And it's just like five minutes from my house. It's really awesome. The people are very friendly there. I know manager and the other, the other, um, the other lady, very nice Australian lady. She always call me, hi love. How you doing love? So lovely. I was great. Hey, what's her name? I forgot now. Friends? I forgot her name now. She always talk about her husband. Very lovely, lovely, lovely lady. She always asks me, what are you making this time? <laughs> I said, I'm making a loom. What are you making this time? I didn't see her today. So, I yeah. am. So, I just kneel away. Seriously, I reckon 5 inches is a bit too wide. But anyway, I will try. So Nelly there guys, I have to move the table a little, the table gonna put down. I'm gonna bring the chair. Okay, see, I'm sitting down this side now. So just not too big. My neighbor gonna say, oh, she hammering again. The other day she hammering, today she hammering again. What she up to this time? <laughs> I always got project in mind. Because of weaving, I learned how to um, uh, saw. I bought a PVC pipe saw. So I know the difference now between a PVC pipe saw and a normal saw. So I learned that from Bunnings. People so helpful there. I said, I don't know what you look like. They said, this is the one. I said, okay. Jigsaw, so jigsaw. What not this one? Oh, why did go on me? Anyway, the V one is finished. Doesn't matter whether they're short or long because you just only use about, or utilize it about two millimeter or two. 
yeah about two or three millimeters space for the warp so now just uh here and the corner here okay straight line so yeah just hammer it straight line I'm gonna make this one longer a little bit the uh, the video show you all how to walk them also okay so you have a scrap yarn that is fantastic to use so like I do I use a scrap yarn I got a bit left of the white color where is it the white color yarn on the floor okay from the uh, warping the, the loom so I'm gonna use that I'll show you all what to do okay if you want to warp the loom I learned that from Ashford uh, Ashford uh, rigid header loom uh, person Kate and I think her name is Kate or something um, always take the yarn from the middle don't take from the outside take from the inside okay so it won't um it's really true i try it works the yarn doesn't go everywhere in the middle just slowly slowly come out from the middle so i learned that yesterday when i'm warping the thing i watched uh, uh, ashford uh, rigid header loom again on youtube you can check that out if you want to see the loom of the loom a warp the loom you can check it out in youtube channel if you type rigid header loom warp or warping they will show it I love YouTube. I learn so much from YouTube. This will call a whopping garment loom just try to remember what i want to call them forgive me if you are very expert in nail and stuff like that Forgive me, I know I use the wrong nail because this is too uh, long. But, hey, I already bought it, so I might as well use it. Can't be bothered to go back and change it. So, yeah, it works. So, I'm learning. That's why I love my uh, channel. It's part of a learning channel. So yeah, if you like this uh, channel, please hit subscribe button and like button. I highly appreciate it. My name is Rina. At present moment, I'm nailing the the MDF board for the garment uh, loom.
Nelly there guys. I'm sorry about the noise of the nail and the hammering. I show from the beginning, you know. Oh, 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 don't come out on me. Okay, two more to go. Then yay! Oh. Last one. Lucky last. Okay, guys. That's it. Can you see the, the, the nail? What I mean, this is the V-neck. See that? And uh, here for the top, I think it's too big. But anyway, I'm just going to try. Because when you weave there, it contract. So, okay, let's walk. Warping is easy. <sighs> okay, this one from the... Anything from the inside? Let me see. Just take it out from inside. Okay, I'm taking it from inside. This is how you warp. You just tie a knot, put in in. Make sure that in the needle, nail. Tie one more time, and just go up and down. up and down up and down up and down guys this is how you warp it guys it's working guys throw and error the thing is not error yet at present state thank god touch wood touch wood mdf is a wood isn't it <laughs> so yeah guys this is how you warp the thing this one need to nail it yep. so just warp it all around guys so yeah, if you like this channel, please hit subscribe button and like button. I highly appreciate it. My name is Serena. I'm testing right now how to weave a garment. So I will put part two when I want to weave them. Okay. 
At present moment, we doing uh, we just done uh, the loom, a garment loom. So yeah, can you see? Yep, can you see? See. Because I'm standing up so I can see what I'm doing on the camera. Okay, I'll stop here because you all know what to do now. How to weave. Just weave right through. Okay? And just nice and taut. Not too tight, not too... Ding. Alright, guys. So, oops. Give me a second. Okay. 30 minutes now. The thing working. So, welcome to Surina M. So, we are warping uh, the loom. I show you all how to make the loom. So, I hope you all try and see. If you want to try and make garment and stuff, I um, know how to use uh, a MDF. So it can be used for MDF and the nail. Like you see, I done it uh, first time. So now I'm going to put part two, uh, how to weave them. Alright, finger cross. Take care guys. Thank you very much for subscri subscribers old and new. Okay, And happy, happy new year. Wishing you all. Bye.